Hello everyone. Uh, I want to do a video today. As above, so below. And uh, this is something I've had for a very long time and I don't even know where I got it. I've always enjoyed it. Um, it just feels really nice and it's it's a pyramid on top of a pyramid. So there's an opposite pyramid on the bottom and a pyramid on the top. So it has eight sides. It's four on the top and four on the bottom. And uh, it was something that I read about this particular shape. And um, some of my videos are about the Metatron's cube, the seven, the thirteen, um, the, the cube... I've shown, you know, the cube and, and some of the mathematics. And so yesterday I had pulled this piece out and was looking at it. And I have some little platonic solid models that I pulled out. And uh, I just kind of want to show you what I found today. Uh, because the numbers, you know, he who has wisdom, let him count. So, um, here's some of my counting today. Okay, I'm going to start out with a quick video, a photo of the platonic solids. Earth is the cube, tetrahedron is fire. Uh, we have uh, the dodecahedron, the icosahedron, and the octahedron. The universe, fire, and water. Alright, so let me show you what I got. Okay, so I'm showing you again the same basic shape. It has eight sides, okay? It's like a pyramid on top of a pyramid, an opposing pyramid, okay? Well, when I got to looking at this, it sort of struck me because uh, I was looking at trying to show how the, the star tetrahedron, which the star tetrahedron, this is the tetrahedron, okay? It's basically, let me get it for you like this, three sides, one, two, three, okay? But the three are connected by a fourth, you see? So it's actually four-sided. If this, eight of them, is attached here to the eight sides of this piece, okay, like that, and then one's put here, and then one's put over uh, here, and then one's put right here, what you're going to get is this. Okay, and I've shown before, you'll have to ignore the colors because I'm not going to go by the colors right now. Okay, but this is a Star of David. <clears throat> it is six here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, but see, here in the middle is a seventh. Right here, seven. Okay, then in the opposite of that, is eight right here and then nine is in the dead center of all of this which is in the dead center of here I know this maybe sounds strange all right so let me just show you what, I, what I'm talking about which is a total of nine these faces are numbered and if they're numbered correctly what happens is if you look at six here and the total opposite side is 3. 3 and 6 is 9. Alright, let's look at the 8. If we look at the 8 and we go over here and look at the total opposite side, it's 1. 8 and 1 is 9. Let's look at the 4. 4 and the opposite is 5. 4 and 5 is 9. So no matter which direction you turn this piece, the sum of the face and the sum of the opposing face equals 9. Okay, well, now let me show you why the 9. In a lot of my videos, I talk about 1, 3, 7, and 7 is 1 surrounded by 6. 7 is significant in Scripture. You know, there's 7 days, 7 swords, 7 seals, 7 vowels. I mean, there's just sevens. I mean, I, I could probably, it's like a hundred and something times that sevens are in there. 
All right, then the number nine, okay, and um, then the number 13, and 13 is one with six, the seven, and it's got six more on the outside, okay, another six, so it's 13. Then we have 21, okay, and these are numbers that I talk about a lot. Um, so now what I'm going to show you, once I stumbled into that, what I found out, the cube, which we've talked about in the um, Paradise videos, 777 equals 21 equals 40, uh, equals 42 equals 72, All right? And so what happens with this, the cube, 5 and the opposite is 2 equals 7. 1 opposite side, 6, 6 and 1 is 7. Okay, 3 opposite side is 4, 3 and 4 is 7. So what happens is, is with the cube, the total is always 7 and the cube is symbolic of Earth. Okay, now this one I just showed you the tetrahedron is air, and the total is always nine, if it's numbered correctly. All right, then uh, the tetrahedron, oh, here it is. Okay, this one is basically one, it's, 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 it's one. That's it, that's, that's it right there, one. And it's almost like, think of like the Trinity in a weird way. It's, you know, the three, or, the three or one. Three or one. Okay, it's like they're individual, but then united, they're the fourth. All right. Uh, and I get them confused, dodecahedron, icosahedron. Okay, this one is the icosahedron and the total is always 21. All right, so if I look here at 19, and I flip over here to the opposite side, it's two. 19 and two is 21. If I start here and go 16, and if I go to the opposite side, all right, yeah, five. 16 and five is 21. Okay, if I go here, one then the opposite is 20. There it is. So it always totals 21. Um, this one, which is uh, the dodecahedron, which is considered to be the universe, or I would almost say even like spirit, because we have uh, earth, air, fire, water, spirit, okay? It always totals 13. Okay, 6, opposite side, 7. 3, opposite side, 10. Always equals 13. Now, <laughs> everything in our known measurable universe is made up of one of these five shapes. And these five shapes have a number value. This one is always nine. This one is always seven. This one was uh, always 21. This one is always 13. This one is always one. And then, when all of them are combined and brought together, you get this. Okay? And I, I haven't numbered this one yet, but I have a strange feeling that the totals of this one, if I can get this one numbered correctly, is going to be 33.
So um, I just thought it was a very interesting coincidence because uh, I had done the video, the mystery of uh, 369. Okay, and, and how the nines, I mean, I knew somewhat about the nine. Okay, but the nine had not been put to this shape. Okay, which goes back to the opening of the video, as above, so below. So eight and one is nine. And it's opposing. I don't know. Interesting. Okay, now with that boring information, but some people will find this interesting, or did that, I want to go to this right here. Air, which is back to this. Okay, it's this piece, or, sorry, here. Dodecahedron, all right. Anna, today, uh, 777AEJ, was talking about a sister had given her a necklace that was a diamond that had a circle in the middle and it had a cross and she was talking about uh, I think she called it a monster a monster is, is what she was saying it was alright well if you look at this this is like the diamond diamond with the line across and the line down okay and this has a value it's air okay it's nine I've shown to where uh, in Hebrew yod hey va hey Alright, looks like to me when I look at this visually, I see N I N E nine. Okay? And this particular thing has the numerical value of nine. Okay? Air and I'm gonna say breath. As in, like, the breath of God. The breath. So I just found it very interesting uh, because I found all this other information last night. And before I could make this video, Anna came out with uh, her video today. And she was talking about the diamond, the cross. But here I am looking and coming up with this just a few hours ahead. And is looking at basically the same thing. I don't know. I thought it was very interesting. Just adding that in. Yod he va he nine. Okay. It's just, I don't know. It's just, this is for the mathematicians, I guess, or people that are interested in numbers and shapes. All right. Have a good night.